Well, it was a great day. It was it was a long day. Uh, we uh, kicked off at 9 a.m. this morning with AGDC at the table. We had the Joe Dubler project uh, team lead, and we had Frank Richards engineering team lead. And on the phone, um, we had Dan Fowski and, and his group in Anchorage, uh, as well as we had the Attorney General, Craig Richards, come before us. Uh, uh, we did recess for a while today and, and uh, came back in at 3 o'clock. So, uh, you know, we've been up there for uh, over uh, four or five hours today on AGDC. And it was a, it was a good comprehensive overview of AGDC uh, from inception of the passage of SB 138, the AK LNG st uh, bill, and, uh, to wh and, and where AGC is at today and where AGDC might go pending how the vote turns out uh, in the legislature on the purchase of TransCanada. And <clears throat> it's a, uh, uh, you know, it's the, the spending bill that's before us to do that uh, is, is about a $157 million item, uh, total package on that, and, you know, $69 million to buy TransCanada out and pay them the money owed. Um, plus uh, some additional funding to backfill DNR, Department of Law, and uh, uh, Department of Revenue, uh, some supplemental funding. Because by buying TransCanada out, you know, now we're gonna have a full 25% ownership in the pipeline from the gas treatment plant in Prudhoe Bay to the pipeline and to the uh, LNG facility in Kenai. So now we're a fully a full 25% partner. We're fully integrated in the project, and um, I was a skeptic, uh, you know, uh, because TransCanada is one of the premier pipeline companies uh, in the in on the planet. Period. Uh, they're good people. I have worked with them uh, when I was uh, in the uh, Palin Parnell administration as Commissioner of Labor, working on on gas line uh, on the gas line project and uh, they are a world-class company. Um, we spent a lot of time today drilling down into AGDC if they were going to be able to recruit and find the expertise like a TransCanada brings to the table because that's important. Now that we're contemplating buying TransCanada out and uh, uh, taking that full 25% ownership, um, the check we're writing here this week Theor you know, theoretically is $157 million and uh, that's going to be the cheapest check we're going to write for a long time until this project starts paying back right and that won't be till you know 2025 at, at, uh, at the earliest so um, pre-feed to get us finish this get us through pre-feed we're you know north of 157 million bucks and uh, going into feed <clears throat> provided apples for apples the the budgeted item is about 695 million so this is real money this is why we're drilling down into AGDC making sure that we feel comfortable as the legislature protect because we are the fiduciary for the people's money to make sure that we feel comfortable with they can get the employees to make sure that we make the right decisions because you only get one bite at the apple on the on this front end of this project and the the decisions and the actions you take now are going to forever be written in stone going down the road on this project so we want to get it right and uh not that there won't be a hiccup here or there project these projects of this magnitude run they run over that's just just the nature of the beast because they are big projects so but with that being said uh I feel very comfortable with uh, the upper management at AGDC. I feel comfortable with the people they've hired. I also feel comfortable tomorrow we're going to hear from TransCanada. Uh, but I feel comfortable in the fact that there's going to be a transition period, a rollover period, if you will, with seconded employees from TC that are going to stay on to make sure we get that transfer of knowledge. And uh, so I, uh, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling better about it. The other, there is a, a some more upside in, in, in attracting 
uh, people and personnel is, you know, the, the global energy market is down. There's some of these other large LNG projects around the world that, that are coming to end for construction and now are going into operations. So you're, you're going to have uh, 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 assets that you can draw from around globally. And there are people that just want to come to Alaska and work on a, a big project. So uh, I feel better and uh, um, I think uh, we will, at the end of the day, have a good project and we're making, uh, I mean, for myself, I think we're going to make the right decisions.